Hey lightweights, welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Last video, we showed Chloe that we actually have powers and she was all gung-ho and on board and wanted to help us practice them. Um, so I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go from here, what we're gonna do, but we're gonna follow her out of the restaurant and see what she has up her sleeve for us. Um, and hopefully this actually helps us gain more control over powers or understand them a little bit more. Since we keep getting nosebleeds, uh, that can't be too good. So um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than I'm excited to continue the story. I'm really intrigued about how we're gonna fix some of the problems that are going on, um, more so within the town, not the concept of saving the town, which is probably bad, but um, there was just, there's a lot of smaller things that I wanna figure out, like, um, is it Rachel, the girl that went, that went missing. Like, I want to figure out what the heck happened to her. Um, Kate, the one who was drugged and has the video going around of her, I want to try to help her some way. So I just really hope we can use her powers to, I don't know, use her powers for good, I guess. But I'm really excited to see kind of what we do with those smaller stories within the game. Um, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and full to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. <sighs> Chloe, don't hey, be a Kate. bitch. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Can Max. we explain why? If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Can we tell her the story? Can we tell her, like, hey, listen, you weren't the only one who was drugged by this a-hole? <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. No, it's Kate needs like us. I see her in class later. I'm sorry. Chloe's a big girl. She can get over it. Ooh, it's sketchy RV guy. Which is weird that I couldn't interact with him at all. pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Oh, until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. OK, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. It doesn't seem safe You to can me. handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I know Chloe is our best friend, but... Every I don't know, man. Every own tale in history. She doesn't seem like a great influence. I know she's been through shit. And I'm not judging. 
Oh, but oof, she is hard to like right oh, now. No. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. What's that? There's a bottle. Okay, how do I get that? Um. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. What am I gonna do? Parkour over there? This looks we like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. And then Chloe's gonna be pissed that at us about that hurts. too. I mean, we did like ignore her for five years. She's bound to move on, honey. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Hello, bottle number one. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Yikes. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but... I was here. Uh, that seems sketchy. I'm not writing that I was here. Sorry, girl. I know we're feeling a little jealous, but we weren't here. It's okay that she had another friend. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? <laughs> Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Okay, but how do we get it? Syringe it. Oh, God. Watch oh, where you step. Gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Those shells look fresh. Got a lot of people shooting guns and shooting up in this place. Jesus. Okay, take that. Boom, only three bottles left. That's a lot of bottles. <laughs> Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. I have to control when she gets up. <laughs> I'm just gonna let her sit there forever. Okay. Um. Where did I leave off? Uh, hey, okay, what up, Max? Hey, I'm busy right now, talk to you later. Is Dr. Graham in the house? Serious science question. I make house calls for you. What up, pup? Puts on serious science face. What do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? 
So now I'm Doctor Who or Doc Brown? For what class? I never got any cool science. I never got any cool time science homework, and I know this shit. I'll explain in detail later if you can actually help me. Like time, my texts are infinite, <laughs> plus I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know I like sci-fi, just think hard about it, okay? Hit me up anytime if you have other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. We are going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. I drive. Oh, it's blinking for the new ones. Okay, but I don't think I read those ones before. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. <laughs> it's hard to get the cadence of these text messages down. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first? Da da da. Or whatever. Go wait. Too late. They're cute. Okay. Where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality, like missing person posters literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty, like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so, for her sake. It's so depressing. And I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in the ye old two whales diner. That clinking of silverware and smelling of sizzling and smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind. Once you, One you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I hadn't read these yet. I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn. I am thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I, can tell, I can't tell i can tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally at the same age here. And he makes me smile. Aww. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar, but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out, no matter what. Okay, I think that's all of them. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. 
It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare, or deskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling, and I felt so hopeless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream, and I told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous and beautiful all at once, especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. Okay. Next day, October 8th, I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray-cray, as Victoria might say, events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now. And I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local me meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time. I pulled an all-nighter on time in physics research. Not being worn, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran to Kate. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate, Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find the creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a, surve I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I did know how bad, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds were closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER, and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what kind, what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. That video doesn't help her case at all, and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? Sometimes I wonder what I am actually doing, besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately so he could have his own human time machine or capture me for scientific experiments or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, 
egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Oh, no. Come on. Anyway, I definitely need a movie to escape. How many of these pages do I have? <laughs> okay, two more. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtracked ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although, now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships and a big ocean. Chloe was late. Duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. But still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with her life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really should have stepped up and taken the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying the smack down on his own stepdaughter. William was always so kind and gentle with us. Can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died. So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up, more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile, but that smile meant trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss, except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Okay, see, so if we feel that way, we have to understand that Chloe can be good friends with Rachel. Ooh, a deflated football. The Bigfoots were here. Okay, back to the bottles. Okay. There's one. Stupid bottle. Oh. Rewind. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Okay, but how? How do I get it without breaking it? That's how. Okay. There we go. I like how it gives you little things like that yeah, that you need to rewind for. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. <laughs> so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Old camera. That's cool. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. A lot, probably. Okay, one, one more, more bottle to go. Okay, Max, sorry. I, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that's not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XO, talk to you later. Wow. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Oh shit, it does. 
And it also kind of looks ghostly. What the heck? Should I follow that it? That doe is the perfect photo op. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. I hope the deer doesn't go anywhere. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Okay. To the deer! Photo. Why is it, like, invisible? What the heck? See? It is invisible! Oh, shit. These are all optional photos? Oh, wow, I missed a lot. Shit. <laughs> it's not really there! Okay, bottle. Where the heck are ya? If I were a bottle, where would I be? I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. There is? Maybe up through here? Nope. Arcadia Bay likes to have bonfires. <laughs> okay. Car wreck. That's not helpful. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. He died in a car accident? Oh, God. Okay, washing machine. I need that bonfire spot. Can I get, like, run over by a train if I go on these tracks? Oh, can't even go on them, so it's a moot point. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> nope, I don't want to go there. Oh, okay. I'm just looking for the bonfire, that's all. Maybe it's just like in the middle and I missed it. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. I'm looking for it. Hmm. What the heck? Oh my God, that was just rude. How was I supposed to find that? I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Oy vey. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain <gasps> Bob. <sighs> Give me a freaking heart attack. Jesus! Okay. to Chloe now that that took us 30 minutes. Oh god. Thanks, Max. Wait. 
One more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need How to do see I take a picture. First. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Okay, she needs to go up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out. She clearly has had practice with this before. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Uh, Give me something to shoot, Max. What about the monitor? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Wait, what? So she didn't want to shoot. Give me something to shoot, Max. Um. Hello, what should I shoot? Relax. Fine, since you won't play. Bitch, will you give, give me a second? I'm looking around. Plank here. I hate old planks. <sighs> Yawn. Ugh. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Oh, that's Ellie, pretty cool. Yes. Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? One of us is gonna get hit by a bullet. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. I literally just said, you don't play with guns. Jesus, I sh shot myself. Ugh, I shot myself. Ba okay, so not the bumper. Well, how about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> Not good. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, oh, this so I can take a picture really for now, I think. With my head. Glad I feel normal again. 
I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. How do I... Can I... Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair at the city dump. Perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of gun... Fun gun tricks. I want to... Where do I see... The pictures I can take. There we go. Okay, I need to look at those more closely. So where are... Someone looking out the window. 142. Wow, I've missed so many pictures. to replay this so I can get all those. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Who the hell was that? Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Ah, I want to shoot and just see what happens. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, Brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Let's just see what happens if I don't shoot. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Hey. It's the Skip that. Come on, girly. Shoot me. 
Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. Okay, I don't you like have that until option. Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Okay, rewind. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel Shit, I don't know today. which one I like better. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. I don't know. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? <sighs> we need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. This is totally not the right decision, but we are going to to shoot him with the gun and make him extra pissed because I don't feel comfortable with him having a gun. Okay, speak. Are you ready to do it? We're gonna skip all this. Skip all this. Shoot him and skip all that because we've already seen it all and live with our decisions. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. Excuse me. <laughs> it felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yes, please. I need some answers. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not Playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. 
We would all be hella best friends forever. <laughs> I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Just got a point. Perfect. Ah! This is why you don't hang out on train tracks, because now a train is going to be coming. What's that noise? The train. Oh, shit. <laughs> Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move. Oh, oh, oh. Even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Please get me out of here. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Oh god. She's toast. Can we have a little more pep in our step, please? Shit, I can't budge it at all. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's dead. I can definitely use this bad boy. Oh my god, she's dead. Oh my god. Okay, but now I know where to go. Shit. Okay, go. Oh my god. Walk faster! Why are you so fucking slow? Okay, so the crowbar is a no-go. Please, get me out of here! Oh, but can I use the crowbar on the door? Yes. <gasps> Score! Okay, hurry up! Total MacGyver. Should I look and see if there's anything else in here? Okay, we're gonna rewind a little bit. Max, you're so slow! My friend is stuck in the train tracks. There's a train coming, and I'm just gonna walk very slowly and carefully. You always cut the red wire. Now that's the right cable. See? It's always the red wire in movies. Yes, I did it. Holy shit. And this, children, okay. is why you do not you hang out on train can. tracks. Crazy. <sighs> now we're totally bonded for life. So stressful. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to oh. a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. 
My Enough Alfred. Powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. That's sweet. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, <laughs> your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. <laughs> All right, she's glowing. She's glowing? She's growing on me. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Join us, or die. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Bye, bitch. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Well, maybe that wasn't all for me. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. <laughs> see you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. 
I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Blackwell Academy believes the next gen of visionaries should know both art and science to advance their talent and education. Our faculty and curriculum is one of the most diverse in the world. Your future starts here. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Oh, that may not be a bad idea like now. We sure will. With all the crazy shit happening. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Bring me the brain, Igor. I think, couldn't I take a picture of this? Think, big brain. I thought... Um... Yes, I can. I think. How do I... Get the right angle, though? There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. This can't be that hard. Hmm. Maybe I need to talk to him first? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to <laughs> add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um... Sodium! I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is! Damn! Zip! Nothing. Nada. Alright, well... Also, maybe don't put your face over the beaker after you pour a substance that you don't know how it's going to react. Hey, Warren. Maxwell just, Silver just Hammer. Asking me for... I have to add either... Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh, no. He is friend zoned and he doesn't even know it. Weird science. Okay. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. So there's nothing else to do? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. 
How was your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. I don't know how to take pictures of these. That's annoying. Attend art class. Okay, I don't know how to get there though. What so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Shit. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Alright guys, unfortunately I have to stop there. Um, I was hoping I could make it to the end of this chapter, but I do not have more time to record than what I've already done. So I'm going to stop there and probably finish the chapter next video. Um, and then depending on how much time is left, I don't know if I'll just make it a short video or go right into the next chapter. I really have no idea how much longer to expect, so we'll kind of play it by ear. Um, I was hoping I could do two videos per chapter, but clearly that's not working out that way. So um, we'll kind of see, see how it goes. Um, anyways, I feel like I'm making all the wrong decisions. Um, I feel like nothing I choose is right. Clearly I should have taken a picture, but I was worried if I took a picture and I didn't intervene. I don't know, maybe I could have taken a picture and then intervened. I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm making all the wrong decisions. This game is feeling very, very impossible to make the right call because both decisions typically seem like the wrong call. I kind of want to mix them together and I can never do that. So I'll be curious to, <laughs> to see the ending that I get. And this is definitely going to take another playthrough off camera just to kind of see the differences. Also, I didn't realize like those photo op situations, like those optional photos. I forgot about those, so I'm going to try to play more focus on pay more attention to those. But I tried to do the one with the beaker and I couldn't get it, so I don't know. Um, but anyways, 
I'm having fun with it. The story is really good. I just, I feel, I feel stressed. <laughs> I always feel like, excuse me, I'm choosing the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, and it's making me nervous for the outcomes that I'm going to get. I just want to help everyone, and I feel like I'm usually making it worse. So we'll see how it goes, but I hope that you enjoyed the video, stress and all. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.